All right, guys, welcome back to Ham Radio for Non-Techies, where we try to simplify the ham radio hobby, get you to study for and pass your test, and get you on the air as quickly as possible. Earlier today, I did a live on YouTube talking about this special Cyber Monday deal that I got, and I told you guys I purchased one, waited till about 4.30 this afternoon, and it finally arrived. So we're going to open this up and get this thing tested and see if it's uh, worth everything they say it is. So we'll get this thing rocking and rolling. All right. So there is the Mission Darkness Faraday bag, waterproof Faraday bag. It's actually a little bit larger than I thought it was going to be. Looks pretty good. It's got nice, nice seal around the zippers. The, the, the zippers are waterproof. So once these things are closed and latched, that should keep all the water and keep it out watertight. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, let's get this thing on. I really am doing this live. <laughs> So we're going to grab this bag. Let's get it opened. It's really nice and tough. Those are definitely waterproof zippers. So inside it has a dry sack uh, configuration. It's like I showed you before. I told, told you what before this morning. So inside there is your Faraday fabric. So I want to do a couple little tests first. Uh, right now I've got my wife's phone because obviously I'm shooting on my phone, but they have a testing uh, testing software app for these bags made by Mission Darkness. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the test and run that for 20 seconds. We're going to let that run. And we're going to see, when I hit stop test, I'll show you the screen here. It should say that the uh, testing failed. So we'll check and see that first. So we'll give another... All right, 20 seconds done. We'll hit stop test. And you'll see here that we failed our tests. We failed on the, on the cell signal and we failed on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, all these uh, tests failed. So overall test results on this thing show this failed and RFI or signal got out. So now we're going to take the phone again. This time we're gonna test and Let me just try, there we go. All right, so we're gonna hit test again. This time we're gonna stick it in the bag. And we will seal it up like it's supposed to be. And we'll get this thing all locked away. And we'll wait 20 seconds. So the 20 second test, I guess it's going to be testing if, if it's going to be able to receive or give off any kind of signals. Uh, a couple good things for these things. They do, like I said, they make other products. They make them for your phone, just a little sleeve you put your phone in. Probably got wallets or something you put your wallet in if you're afraid of RF, you know, RFID type stuff. Uh, but putting your phone in here if you want, you know, not get tracked by the by the big corporation, stuff like that might be kind of a cool thing. But I was mainly thinking about how great this would be to pop an HT in to protect your investment. I mean, these things are three, 400 bucks, and you know, last thing you want is an EMP to take one out, and then you have no communications. So we're gonna see how, how well this works here. Probably give another five seconds here. And I think that's good enough. Now, I'm not gonna edit this video, guys. I'm going to just shoot straight, so if there's mistakes, we'll just have to deal with it together. So let's get this open and get that to stop the test. And you'll see this time that our test, the overall test on this thing passed. Yeah, we got passing, passing colors, overall test results is passing on this. Nothing got out of the bag. So that's really cool. The next test I wanna try, and I think, uh, let me make sure this is uh, set up. I assume your phone is set up for receiving phone calls? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next test is gonna be can we make a phone call to this phone from another phone in the room? And for that, I'm gonna probably have my son give us assistance. So we're going to set this up inside of here. And get this all set up. Alex, yeah. call your mother's phone. Go ahead and bring the camera close in. If, they, if it's going to go off, I want to hear it. All right, call in.
I'm not hearing anything. Straight to voicemail. Okay, so he said the he said the phone. He said the phone went straight to voicemail. So that proves that this is actually blocking signal, and that satisfies me on the portion of this thing being EMP proof, or at least signal proof. So now we're gonna do the one I kind of dread, but I told you guys I was gonna do it. And uh, we'll just deal with the results afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and make room in this bag. I'm gonna take my relatively brand new FT3DR. I'm gonna take the antenna off. So we're gonna put the FT3DR in here as you would if you were gonna store this to keep it from uh, getting fried. And I'm gonna just seal that up nice and tight. I'm gonna do a little extra tight because this is my radio and a phone. I don't wanna replace both of them. And we will make sure this is nice and sealed. Now on the, uh, on the zipper here, when you bring the zipper down, there's a little tiny section right here that you have to make sure you get that part really sealed and when it stops there then you know you've got you got a good seal on your bag so with that being done here's the part that i've been kind of dreading but i told you we'd do it and i keep my promises so now we're going to dunk this in the water and see how waterproof it actually is i'm just going to leave it in here for about 10 15 seconds and we'll just see if uh we have our solutions I need paper towels. Yes, sir. I'm just going to leave it dunked in there. We're going to find out if I just lost $1,000 or not. Okay. Take it out. So with that being done, I'm going to place it on here. Get some of these paper towels and dry it off. Remember I told you guys earlier, one of the disclaimers on this thing was not to allow the Faraday uh, cloth inside to get wet. So it's important that if this thing does get wet and you've got materials or electronics inside, that you take a couple seconds to dry it off and make sure that everything around the zipper lining, you know, just try to get as much of the bag as, as uh, dry as possible. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to dry the Molly parts, but they don't seem to be very wet. Uh, to go back and check that here in a little bit, but I want to test and make sure it's one nice and be nice and thorough. All right, here we go. We'll find out if this worked. Let me get my hands dry. I don't want any kind of moisture just in case. I mean, I'm probably being a little overly precautious, but. You know, I don't want to do anything that's going to damage the integrity of what this bag is designed to do. So we will get this opened. Everything inside of here looks nice and bone dry. So I'm going to assume that everything inside the bag is also bone dry. FT3 fires up, and the phone fires up. Not a drop of water, everything's bone dry. Looks like this works. All right, guys, so that concludes the test. I told you guys I was gonna do this. I think this is a fantastic little bag. You've got the Molly system on the back here to make it modular for any of your backpacks and things that you're working with. And uh, it, does it, it does what it says, it's waterproof. We tried the RFI test, we used the app, but just in case the app was uh, leading me astray, uh, we actually tried to call the phone, it went straight to voicemail. So I think that's a pretty fantastic uh, testing of this. So again, if you guys saw the video from this morning, there's a link in there, and I'll put another link down today. If you wanna get this bag right now, it's $67 on, on Amazon through my Amazon store and through the link I have down below. Um, don't know how long it's going to last. I think it's a Cyber Monday deal. This goes back up to $85 at midnight unless Amazon or, or Mission Darkness uh, makes a different uh, decision on that. But if you want to get one of these things, protect your gear, something small. And they have, like I said, they have a whole line of bags. They got everything from small bags, cell phone bags, duffel bags, a complete RF backpack that's modular. 
and they also carry complete car, uh, car ports. You can drive your car in and zip it up and your car's uh, protected from EMP as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, guys, this is Ham Radio for non-techies, and we are clear.